Hello everyone. So in today's session, we will start with the discussion of I-type instruction in RISC-V. So coming to I-type instruction, so in the RISC-V architecture, I-type I type or immediate instructions are used for the operations involving an immediate values. So in the case of I type instructions, there will we are going to deal with the immediate values. So in R type instructions, we have already discussed it. So in case of R type instructions, the values are stored inside the registers and the, uh, the values are not uh, directly uh, given to ALU, but they are stored in the registers and uh, from that registers, we are going to access those values. So the ALU is going to access the uh, operands uh, from the from the registers. So they are stored in the registers initially and they will be accessed by the ALU. Whereas in case of I-type instructions, the value is directly given to the uh, ALU for the operation, whether it may be add operation, subtract operation, multiply operation or storing or loading. So everything, the immediate value will be given. Okay. So for example, in case of R type instruction, uh, the instruction will look like this. So let's say in case of add operation, add RD comma RS1, RD, RS1 and RS2. Okay. Like this, the instruction will be in case of R type instruction, where RD is the uh, destination register and RS1 is the source register 1 and RS2 is the source register 2. So, in these two values, uh, so in these two registers, the value will be uh, stored. Okay. Now, whereas in case of I type instructions, the instruction will, would look like this add I RD, comma, RS1, comma, the value. So instead of storing the value inside the register, we are directly giving one immediate value. Okay. We are directly giving one immediate value to this uh, uh, register and the result we are going to store in the destination register. This is our destination register. So like this, we are going to deal with the immediate values. So in the risk V architecture, the I type immediate instructions are used for the operations involving immediate value. Okay. Operations involving an immediate value. So these instructions typically uh, perform arithmetic and logical operations where one operand is a constant. So here the one operand is a constant and another is a uh, register value. Okay. So these instructions typically perform arithmetic and logical operations where one operand is a constant value embedded in the instruction itself. So this value will be embedded in the instruction itself. Okay. So the immediate value will be embedded in the instruction itself. Now let's uh, let us see the I type instruction format. So 31 down to 20, the 12 bits will be the immediate value and uh, the five bits next five bits will be the source uh, one address address for source register one and this is function three and this is rd destination register address and this is opcode so this opcode is different for i type instructions we have seen the opcode for r type instructions that will be different from this i type instructions and this is the immediate value so the value which we want to uh, perform any operation that will be provided in the instruction itself so this is the immediate value to bit immediate value this is of 12 bit okay and this is rs1 is the address for source register one address for source register one and this this is function three this is used to tell which type of operation we are going to perform so this function three is used to tell which type of operation we are going to do and uh, this RD is the address for destination register, address for destination register. So where the result should be stored here, we will tell with the help of this address and this opcode we have already discussed to tell the type of the instruction, whether it is a R type instruction, I type instruction or another type of instructions. Okay. Now, see, uh, this is the example for I type instruction add I. So add I, I represents it is a 
immediate instruction x5 comma x1 comma 10 okay so this is the immediate instruction format where x5 is the destination register so the result should be stored in the x5 and the source register 1 we are uh, adding with the immediate value 10 so this is the immediate value immediate value okay so immediate value is 10 and the source register is x1 and destination register is x5 and the opcode for this uh, uh, i type instructions is hexadecimal 13 okay indicates a i type instruction and function 3 is 0 which indicates add i okay so if function 3 is equal to 0 it indicates a uh, immediate add instruction okay so this is an example so if we convert this uh, instruction into binary format so it will look like this okay this is a 32 bit instruction this is a 32 bit instruction so the instruction which is written in in the assembly language will be uh, converted into machine language like this so it will look like this okay so here the immediate value is this one which is 12 bits okay and rs1 is uh, four zeros one and function three is triple zero which indicates add operation and destination register address is double zero one zero one which is register x5 and opcode is double zero one zero double one okay we will not worry about the conversion process like how this instruction add i x5 x1 one zero will be converted into this binary format that we are not going to concern about but what we are concerned on is we are going to uh, analyze this binary format so we are going to analyze this binary format there will be a module called control unit in our design processor design so with the help of this control unit what we are going to do we are going to analyze the instruction uh, which is in the binary format so we are going to decide whether it is an immediate instruction or r type instruction or any other instruction and if it is a r type instruction then what is the type of instruction what we are going to do whether we should add or subtract or what we should do or if it is a i type instruction what we want to do like we should add or subtract or what we should do so that we are going to uh, write the logic for okay yeah. and you can observe here the immediate value is 12 bits only the immediate value which is embedded in the instruction that is only 12 bits and this uh, with this immediate value what we are going to do we are going to perform uh, the operation with the another register rs1 okay so we are in case of add operation we are going to perform uh, add operation between rs1 and immediate value right so this rs1 is 32 bit right so it is storing a 32 bit value but whereas this immediate is storing on uh, which is a only 12 bit value so what we are going to do is we are going to sign extend this value to 32 bit okay so this immediate value will be sign extended to 32 bit okay so this is what we are going to do okay so this immediate value which is of 12 bits will be sign extended to 32 bits sign extension is nothing but so here we are having our uh, immediate value right so this is our immediate value which is of 12 bits okay so here the we will see the msb if it is zero we will extend it to remaining bits so we will extend it to remaining bits to make it to 32 bits that's it simple okay so if the msb is one we will fill all the remaining bits to 1 until it becomes 32 bit value we will just extend the msb bits to what we are existing having so we are having one at the msb so we will fill all the remaining bits before that with the one or if we are having zero then we will fill all the remaining bits with zero in front of this zero to make it a 32 bit value so it is sign extension so after performing sign extension we are going to perform the operation So let's see add i instruction. So the purpose of this instruction is to add an immediate value to a register. So the format is add i 
rd rs1 immediate value and the operation is rd is equal to rs1 plus immediate for example add i xy comma x1 comma 10 this instruction adds the immediate value 10 to the value in the register x1 and stores the result in the x1 we have one more instruction called set less than instruction so in this set less than instruction which is an immediate instruction slti slti is set less than immediate so the purpose of this instruction is to set the destination register to 1 if the source register is less than the immediate value otherwise it is set to 0 so let's say suppose slti x5 x5 is our destination x1 comma 10 okay so if x1 contains the value which is less than 10 that is if it contains 5 which is less than 10 so uh, 1 will be stored in our destination register x5 so x5 will be equal to 1 and if it contains the value which is greater than 10 or equal to 10 then x5 will be equal to 0 okay so it this instruction is basically used to tell us whether uh, our register is containing the value which is uh, less than the immediate value provided okay where from where this immediate value is provided from the instruction and remember one thing this immediate value is of 12 bits only we are going to sign extend this immediate value to make it 32 bits and then we will compare it okay next or immediate this is simple or operation but this is or immediate instruction okay so we are going to perform the or operation between the register source register and the immediate value or operation between the register and immediate value okay so the format is or i r d comma r s 1 comma immediate so operation is r d is equal to r s 1 or immediate okay so it will perform the or operation between the r s 1 register that is the value which is present inside this register and the immediate value which we have provided and it will store in the r d register next is load word so this instruction uh, actually store uh, loads the 32 bit word from the memory into a register okay so lw rd comma immediate of rs1 so what it will do so it will store the 32 bit word from the memory into a register for example lw x5 comma 0 so this instruction loads the 32 bit word from the memory address x1 plus 0 into a register x5 okay so like this it will uh, sto uh, loads the data 32 bit data from the memory into the register here we are providing the address okay so the instruction loads the 32 bit word from the memory address x1 plus 0 into the register x5 So we have discussed it, uh, we have, so in this session we have started with the I type instruction and we have discussed the different type of I type instructions and how this I type instructions will look like and we have also seen uh, some examples like add, uh, arithmetic operations add and uh, set less than or load, load word, okay. So and we have uh, some more instructions like uh, and I, uh, like uh, logical instruction logical operations like and i or i x or i okay so we have different type of instructions uh, but i am not covering it all in this session J just to give a brief idea i have uh, shown this so while we are uh, while when we are uh, doing wedlock code i will provide it in a table and uh, ta tabular form so i will show all the instructions all the possible instructions in this immediate instructions and in next session, we will see uh, the shift instructions in this immediate, the shift operations in this immediate instructions. And yeah, so that's all for today's session. Thank you.